terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. In a statement announcing the new policy in the Swedish Parliament, Finance Minister Elizabeth Svantessen, Svantessen, say that five times real fast, warned that the nation needs a stable energy system and will not have one under these guidelines. So what are they going to replace it with? Well, what she said was the plan for America, which is, hey, we're going to run it on a wind, solar, and unicorn glitter farts. Uh, it's good. It's good, like going to run it with will or something. She said it's not going to work. It's two hundred minutes. Not de- it's not dependable. I mean, look, you go a week. You know, the, have you seen the last week here? How much rain we've had? How overcast it's been? You gonna be sitting in the dark if it's solar? So what did they do? They said, well, they're going to shift back to nuclear power. Oh, we're shutting those plants down too. We we, we aren't building new ones for the most part. They just scrapped their goal of 100% renewable energy supply because they can't do it. They want to do it. And look, there's no, I have no problem with doing it if it works and it's affordable. I mean, sure, yeah, let's go to something that's totally clean, but we, the, energy, the, the technology doesn't exist. So what is this? This is one big warning, America. One big warning. This is not going to work, and it is coming at us like a train down the tunnel in the dark. You see the light. It's coming at you. You have to get off the track. There's going to be absolute shock in this country as we hit the three-year and four-year and five-year mark and people start to find, like, I can't, you're not going to be able to buy a new car. I mean, that is totally out of reach for the American people. A family having two cars? Uh Uh-uh, impossible. You're not going to be able to. So what's going to happen is everyone's going to have to buy used cars. As those break down, there'll be a desperate scramble for those parts. Just, it's going to be like Cuba. I mean, this is how Cubans live. I mean, you ever see a Cuban, the pictures are driving 60s, 70s, cars from 50s, 60s, and 70s. This could be us. This is a Cuban model, but they're using energy to get there. And folks, Kevin McCarthy just made it a lot worse with that bill that he passed. Because we could at least go to the Supreme Court and beg them to keep the lights on. We could beg them, hey, the EPA doesn't have this power. Well, what Kev just put in the debt ceiling deal says, hey, you cannot challenge this legally. Now, the lawyers will still try. They'll try to go right up. But Kevin made it so much worse. He literally kicked the legs out from underneath Americans, helping Joe Biden to make this policy harder to knock down. And that's if we manage to keep the Supreme Court control that we have right now. Texter writes, maybe we should put treadmills in jails wired up to the grid and let the inmates make the power. Jails would become the new power plant. That is a a literally better idea than the one we are pursuing. Folks, you gotta understand something. We're not building the solar and wind fast enough to replace it, even if we want to. Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, big Democrat bundler, said this. Look, if we're going to do this, we need to be confiscating massive tracts of farmland right now. The government's massive. I mean, as far as the eye can see. We need to be confiscating those so we can start building the windmills and the solar panels just to replace what we're shutting down. And he's a Democrat. And a lot of folks on our side misunderstood that. They freaked, oh, the government's going to confiscate our land. Well, no, that's not what Jamie Dimon's saying. It was a polite way of him saying, hey, y'all, wake up. The lights are going out. Do you understand what it would take to even build the power base on wind and solar it will take to replace the coal and natural gas? He's saying the government should be confiscating this land right now. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. It would take a mass confiscation of a lot of the farmland in America just to put up the kind of power grid we would need. It is going to take decades. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.